hello guys welcome to this video in this video i want to clear some confusion that most of the uh, beginners face and that is the difference between wordpress wordpress.org and wordpress.com so let's start with the wordpress wordpress is basically the content management system see the front end and back end of our website where we manage the whole website that is the wordpress that is the actual application that we will be using the wordpress.org is a website that provides that application wordpress application we download that wordpress from this wordpress.org website and it also have the forum where we can post our queries and ask questions from the community and it has a lot of other support that we can get in any problem and it has other plugins that we can download and themes related to the wordpress so basically it is the support website where we can get help from other experts on the other hand, the WordPress.com is a totally different website. This website basically provides a free blog. We can create free blog on this website. When we download the WordPress and upload on our own website, that is called self-hosted blog. But we can also use free blog and WordPress.com provides that service just like blogger.com. Blogger.com by Google. We, we create free blog on that website but there are a lot of restrictions in there and the same thing is for WordPress.com. There are a lot of restrictions there when we create blog on WordPress.com. So we will not do that. Don't ever use free blog alright because there are a lot of restrictions there. You cannot do anything freely but when you use self-hosted blog you you are free you can do anything you want you can put anywhere ad you want you can do anything all right but on free blogs there are a lot of restrictions you will face and wordpress dot wordpress.com provides us the free blog that we don't want all right so i hope now you guys know what is wordpress wordpress.org and wordpress.com so let me just revise wordpress is just the content management system where we will manage our website where there is a front end and back end and everything wordpress is basically the application and wordpress.org is basically the website that provides support related to the wordpress we can download wordpress from this website and wordpress.com is a website that provide us free blogging service all right and don't ever use free blogging service as i mentioned earlier that there are a lot of restrictions there all right we are not free to do anything so i hope you guys now know the difference between wordpress wordpress.org and wordpress.com so thank you guys for watching this video i will see you in the next video where we will set up our wordpress